we're going to be making our salsa that we usually make. The uh, the only thing that we're doing, I'll explain the ingredients, but the only thing that we're doing different is we're using a different pepper. Usually we use a small one that's like about that big compared to this one. But we found this at our at a pumpkin patch that we went to. Check out the video where we went pumpkin picking and got this pepper, which would be where we got it. But the, all, so all you need for the salsa is a, uh, I can't think of what this is. What is this called? Cilantro. Cilantro. <laughs> Cilantro, a pepper of your choice, depending on how hot you want it. Um, garlic, you can use a um, garlic clove thingy but we just use it with um, minced garlic, uh, black pepper, salt, lime juice, whole tomatoes, um, this stuff, Rotel. It's like diced tomatoes and green chilies. And we'll leave the recipe yeah. down below. And the, we usually do mild, and the, or not mild, original, and we do two cans of it, original and original, but last time we did it mild and mild. You, it just depends on how hot you want it. You can use your own tomatoes that um, come from your garden, fresh tomatoes, but we just use this can. Usually we use this can anyways, but we didn't want to risk making the salsa taste bad but and you can also add cumin with but the we just don't use it what about your sugar sugar we also use sugar by the way um so what you start with is opening the can so just empty all of the juice from the whole tomato can in your sink, but with the Rotel, you only want to drain like half of it because that's partially, it's okay if you drain all of it accidentally. You use too much. You use, and when you, you also use, oh yeah, that also. We also use onion, and usually we use just a regular just size. Just like a medium sized onion. onion. Yeah, just a medium sized onion about that big. I decided to get one that big. But the stem, so just cut it on your cutting board or wherever you like to cut it. Since this is a big pepper, I'm just gonna cut it into little pieces. And say that you can keep the seeds or? You can keep every- Or not. You can either keep all, everything in the pepper or you can take out the seeds if you want. We just keep the seeds in because, yeah. The um, cilantro, you can just rip the whole thing to like pieces and then cut it into smaller pieces until it's no longer full pieces. Um, you just cut it into small little leaves. It doesn't have to be perfect just into smaller, uh, into smaller pieces than what they are. And you can just use like a handful, like that much. Not a lot, a lot, because then it ruins it. Um, lime, we use two scoops of lime. I think it's like one tablespoon. You, so you use one tablespoon, just like a normal size. You can do it however you want, however much cilantro you want. You can make it the most cilantro-y, cilan cil salami -y, cilantro -y thing you've ever made in your life. So yeah, just one, and then you'd use one tablespoon of lime. It doesn't matter, you can use lemon, but lime is better. You can either be a, just like a normal size spoon or a, uh, actual tablespoon. It's just one normal size of that. Um, then you use 
garlic. You don't have to put all these ingredients in the way that I am. You can put in tomatoes last and pepper first. Yeah, that's garlic, all right. Um, like, depending on how much it you want, about a heaping full on your spoon or a tablespoon, doesn't matter. I use a little bit more. Um, depending on how spicy, pepper-wise, load it with pepper. Just, just like a cover the top of it, and then salt. Just layer it on top. Usually, every single time we're done with the salsa, we take we um, take some of the ingredients. It's either it's either more garlic, more part. Cilantro, either more garlic, cilantro, salt, or pepper, and then it makes it taste better. Then we take, then we take the onions, and hopefully not cry over it. And we just take like that much, this much. Sure. And we, we you just or you can, let me see. Yeah. Uh, let me see it again. Yeah, that's good. Usually, it's an onion like half the size of this, but it's only like that thick. But, you know, just a medium sized onion, the whole thing. We got an extra, extra big, big, big one. So we're just using like a little bit. You cut into it. And no matter how sad it looks, do not cry over it. Um, and you just put the whole thing in there and just throw it, not throw it in, in the wrong direction, but yeah. Just put that in, yeah. Close that so you don't cry over the sadness of chopped up onion. Grab your lid, and you, when you uh, uh, blend it, or whatever you want to call it, you can use a blender, but we use a food processor, it works better. Then you, you use your thing, your processor, and make it until it looks a little Get off, please. A little something like what this looks like. Oh, that doesn't go in there. And then you put all your stuff away because, yeah. Then you taste it with fresh yeah. chips. And then you dig in. That's have the little ones because I'm tired too. Tada! Hey twins, come here. You guys, it's really spicy. I don't. Mm. Nash, your cup is right here in the glass. Duckin, you want, you want some? Want That's fine. That is spicy. It is like peppery. Ah. That's the whole, he added a whole pepper. Oh. Can I have more chips? No, I'm trying.